Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to add comments to your workbooks as well as how to view all of the comments within your workbooks or within your worksheets. If you'd like to get this uh, workbook that you see here, go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial, and you can download it all there. So what I've got here is a sample sales report. Just uh, four employees, or four salesmen and women, and I've got their data for four years. Just a bunch of random stuff. So let's um, add some notes to it, first of all. Um, or let's add some comments to it. And a comment is basically just something that's going to better explain your workbook, and you put them for each cell. So if I want to put a comment for the sales report right here, simply go to the review tab, or actually, you don't have to. Just click the cell where you'd like to have the comment, right click, and select insert comment. The name that's registered to the um, Excel program is going to show up right here. And then you can just put anything you want. When you're done, you can click the edges of the window near these little white circles and resize it to better fit the text that you have. If you have a lot of text in the comment boxes, simply select the white circles and drag it way down. You can also drag it out to the side. So there's one comment. When you're done with the comment, simply click any other cell out here. And you'll now notice that there is a red little triangle in the upper right hand corner of the cell with the comment. If I hover over the cell anywhere, that comment will then be displayed. This is a sample sales report. So the comments can be hard to um, find if you're not looking for them. If you have a huge workbook with, I don't know, 20 years of sales data for 100 salesmen, it can be hard to see all of the comments. And I'll show you how to uh, get over that problem in a second. But here's how you add a comment. Let's add one for a salesman. Right click the cell where you'd like to put one in. Click insert comment and um, you can put whatever you want. Anyway, that's just a sample thing. Let's make it wider so it only displays on one line. So now we've got a note for the salesman. This is a note for the salesman. Bad attitude. And um, you can put as many comments as you'd like in the workbook for the most part. And that's pretty much it for adding comments. In terms of deleting a comment, um, I'll just put one more right here. If you want to delete it, just right click the cell that contains the comment and select delete comment. As soon as you do that, you'll notice the red triangle has disappeared and there is no longer a comment for this cell. The other thing that you can do is to make comments um, stay visible. So if I want to make this individual comment for Jim Bob visible or to remain visible, simply right click the cell with a comment, go to show hide comments and click that. And you notice now when you click away from the cell that particular comment still is visible. So if I scroll down, scroll back up, the comment's still there. But this original comment up here for the sales report is not. You still have to hover over that cell. So that's a neat little way to um, keep important comments always displayed while ones that are not as important, such as this one, you can just keep them hidden for the most part. Now to make it so it disappears like normal, right click the cell, go to hide comment. Then once you hover over it, it's going to appear just like it always did before. So you know how to insert them, delete them, make it so they stay appear, they stay visible. The last thing is how to find all of the comments in a worksheet or a workbook that someone else has given you, and you're not sure where the comments are. Now, oftentimes this happens when you're working in a group of people, and they say, "Oh, I left comments here," but you can't find them because there are 30,000 cells with data. So where are the comments? Well, a way to solve this is go to the review tab, and in the comments box right here, you can click Show All Comments. Once you do that, all of the comments for the workbook are going to appear. But there may be other comments that we can't see that are off the screen. What you want to do then is to zoom out. And oh, there we go. We've got another comment right down here. So let's keep going. Doesn't look like there are any other comments in this worksheet. 
but we did find one down here. So let's check that out. Make sure to evaluate bonuses on a yearly basis. So we found that because we clicked show all comments. And we zoomed out basically. Now the last thing you can do is when you're on the review tab in the comments box, you can actually cycle through all of the comments in the workbook. Um, so we can click next, next, and then we actually find out that there's a comment down here because we've cycled through them. And then if you hit next on the last comment, it tells you reach the end of the workbook, continue from the beginning if you'd like. So that's a way that you can cycle through the workbook um, for comments as well. But if you have 50 comments in a workbook and you're only looking for a hidden one, one that's kind of out of bounds, the show all comments way is really the, the best way to go about that. So that's pretty much all there is to um, adding, deleting, showing, hiding, finding comments in Excel workbooks. Um, a lot of the stuff we did by right clicking you can also do on the review tab in the comments box here as you notice edit comment delete previous next show all comments show hide comment so pretty much everything you could do by right clicking and um, if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com look for the video tutorial download everything there and that's about it for this video or this tutorial